Hi everyone, my name is Brandon, and today I'm going to be leading you through a warm-up that should get you ready for any kind of exercise that you have planned for after this. So today, or to start, we're just going to get the blood flowing in the body, just marching in place. Making sure we're swinging our arms, getting those knees up, and just getting the blood flowing throughout the body. And pick those knees up a little bit more, get a little more range of motion. getting loose. Alrighty, we're going to move to jumping jacks in three, two, one. If you would like a little less impact, you can just do side steps with the jumping jacks. Just making sure we're keeping those arms moving, the body moving, getting warm. Just getting ready for the workout we have planned. Three, two, and one. And we're moving to some arm swings. So it's kind of like when we're marching and just moving our arms back and forth. But we're going to over exaggerate and get them really flying. Big range of motion back and forth. Try to do 10 on each arm here. Make sure we're getting our shoulders activated and the rest of our arm. Two more. Good. Now we're going to do the same thing, just coming across the body, kind of like we're hugging ourselves. And do 10 of these. Three, two, one. Now we're going to bring our arm across. Let's bring your right arm across and bring, grab your left hand on your right arm elbow and then kind of just pull it we stretching our upper back right here try to keep the feet moving while we're doing this as we're only stretching our upper body right now trying to stay warm three two one good now switch same thing left arm across right hand on the left elbow and pulling across making sure we're not going to pain but feeling the tension Again, just make sure we keep moving. Two and one. Now we're gonna bring our right arm behind our head, left hand on the elbow again, just kind of push down, activating our tricep here. Holding this for about 12 seconds. Make sure we're keeping moving. Three, two, one. Good, switch to the other side. Same thing on the left arm. Just getting that tricep activated. Three, two, one. Now we're gonna move into just some body weight curls um, to get our biceps activated. So just, just like we're curling, just bringing them up. Make sure we're going slow and controlled here. We're gonna do 10 of these and just get those biceps ready for today. Make sure we're keeping our core tight. Three more, three, two, and one. Now we're gonna move into some bent over rows, get our back activated. So we're gonna keep our chest up, kind of get a slight bend in the back, or a neutral spine, and then just bend in the hips, and then just bring in our arms back about a 90 degree angle. Just getting our back activated three more two and one good now we're going to do some frontal arm raises so just going to bring your arms up in front of you to about a shoulder width height and then back down activating our shoulders good might feel a little burn in the shoulders, that's all right. One more. Now we're gonna do the same thing, just out to our sides. So again, just bringing them up to about shoulder width. Again, just feeling a little burn in those shoulders. 
two more. And one, good. Now we're gonna move into a chest stretch. So what we're gonna do is bring our hands behind our back and you can either grab your right hand with your left or vice versa. And then we're just gonna keep our chest up and then just pull back, stretching our chest. And that activated. Make sure we're moving. Three, two, one. Good. Now we're done stretching our body for now. We're gonna move into lower body. So to start, we're gonna do a quad stretch. So we're gonna bring our right leg up and grab it with our right hand. You can use a wall to help support or try to keep it balanced. A little trick I've learned is to focus on something in the room that's not moving. Three, two, one. Good, switching out to the other side, same thing. Make sure we're trying to stay as balanced as possible, keeping our core tight. Three, two, and one. Now we're gonna do a glute stretch. So we're gonna bring our right leg up into our knee, and then we're just gonna act like we're sitting into a chair. So just squat down, and you can use a wall for support if you would like to. Just holding that, feeling this stretch in our glute right now. Three, Two, one, good. Now switch to the other side and the same thing, bringing that left leg up and then just act like we're sitting into a chair. Again, trying to focus on something in the room that's not moving to help you balance. Three, two, one. Now we're gonna move into a calf stretch. You can either stay um, flat on the floor or you can go back um, find some that can elevate the ball and toe. Um, it's going to give a little bit more range of motion. And what we're going to do is we're just going to kind of stand up like we're getting on our tippy toes, just activating those calves. Try to do 10 of these. We don't want to be rocking or bouncing, just staying stable, keeping the core tight. Two and one good now we're going to move into some lateral leg raises get our abductors activated so just stand about shoulder width apart and then we're just going to bring our right leg up and back down trying to stay as stable as possible keeping that core tight not falling over two more on the right side last one Good. Now, same thing on this left side. Here we go. Remember to stay stable. Just getting those abductors ready. Two more. Two. And one. Good. Now we're gonna get uh, hip flexors going. So we're gonna do some lunges, just stepping forward making sure we don't have our knee, our front knee coming over our front toe. You can alternate legs or do the same. We're just gonna do five to each side. Remember to stay stable, keeping this chest up here and making sure that our front knee isn't coming over our toes. Last one. Good, now we're gonna to move to the ground. Um, and to start, we're gonna start with butterfly. So we're gonna bring our feet in to our groin area and just hold this here for 12 seconds. If you wanna to try to get a little bit more out of this, you can lean forward. You're gonna feel a little bit more in your groin. But just hold that there. Three, Two, one, good. Now bring your right leg out and your left leg in, kind of like we're doing butterfly, just with the right leg out. And we're gonna reach out and touch our toes. Try to grab onto that right toe with your right hand. Go as far as you can where there's no pain. Three, 
three, two, one. Good. Now switch, same thing, bringing that right leg in and reaching out as far as you can, trying to grab that toe. We should be feeling this in our hamstrings. Just getting those activated. Three, two, one. Now we're gonna do the same thing that we did with the quad stretch when we were standing up. We're gonna bring our leg back and then you can kind of just lean back on your hands. You should be feeling this just like the quad stretch that we did earlier when we were standing up and balancing. Holding back. Three, two, one. Good. Switch and the same thing on the left side, bringing that left leg back and then just kind of leaning back. You can always go back even farther or you can hold yourself up. The more you lean back, the more you're gonna feel it. Two and one. Now keeping our right leg out, we're gonna bring our left leg over the right leg and then you're gonna bring your right arm and uh, put your elbow on your knee and kind of pull that back. And we should be feeling this on our glutes. If you want, you can try to turn around, look behind you. You'll feel a little bit more. Three, two, one. Now bring that right leg over, that left arm over and pulling on that right leg. Again, you can look back. Feel a little bit more in your glute. Three, two, one. Now we're gonna go lay on our side. So you're gonna lay flat on your side, bring your left leg over and set it on the ground here. And then you can hold your head up with your other arm. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna bring this right leg or the one that's closest to the ground, it's resting on the ground, and just bring it up. It's gonna activate our adductors. Just trying to bring it straight off the ground. About 12 inches up and then back down. Three more, two, one. Good, now switching to the other side and the exact same thing. Then our side, bringing that right leg over, keeping that left leg on the ground, and then just bringing it up. Should be feeling this, our inner leg. Two more, two, one. Good. Now we're gonna get into a planking position. Um, you can either be on your knees like this or get up on the toes. What we're gonna do is we're gonna activate our chest and just do some push-ups. Just try to get through 10 of these. Keeping that back neutral, not arching. Also not dipping it down. Two and one. Good, now we should feel that chest being activated. Now we're gonna stay in the same position that we were, this time on our knees, and we're gonna do some bird dogs. We're gonna bring our right arm up and our left leg out at the same time. It's gonna look something like this. So we'll activate our glutes, our core, rector spinae. Let's try to do five on each side here. Keeping that core tight, trying to stay as stable as possible. One more each side. Good. Now we're gonna stay in this position, but we're gonna dip down into an upward dog position. Keeping our chest up here, kind of looking up. Want to be feeling this in our abs and our core. Just stretching that. If you'd like, you can kind of do some circles with your neck. 
three, two, one. Good. Now our last thing on the ground, coming back and getting on our heels, what we're gonna do is just reach out in front of us. Just holding this out there. You should be feeling this in your upper back. If you'd like, you can walk to the left and you'll feel it more on your right side or vice versa. Walk to the right and feel it more on the left. Either way, just holding it. Three, two, one. Good. Now we're gonna come back up to finish our warm up. What we're gonna do here is put your right hand kind of above your head and then grab it with your left. And what we're gonna do is just lean to the left side. Should be feeling on our right oblique. Try to hold that. You can kind of pull your right arm down. Good, now switch into the other side. I'm just pulling that down. Three, two. Now we're gonna do one last thing, and it's gonna be pretty simple. We're just gonna do three big deep breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth. Here we go. One more. All right, that's it.